forgive my lighting. I tried to adjust the lighting here, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm making it worse. Might be work, making it worse. Um, Prince died recently. It's been about a year or two now. So I was a big Purple Rain Prince fan growing up. Um, you got Method Man here, signed by the Meth Man himself. Uh, this is the uh, actual Meth album that came out in um, what the nineties. Madhouse again. It's just all instrumental stuff. Prince band. Uh, Prince put these groups together, and they were bad, real badass. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. This over here. Let's see if I can reduce some of this glare. Michael Jackson Thriller album. No big deal, you might say. However, uh, that's the original stick you're, you're looking at. And uh, gosh, this is a horrible job of me filming this. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get when you're using uh, or trying to film reflective quality, uh, some reflective uh, things that uh, just make it really difficult to get the best lighting. Okay, so the quick story behind this: six dollars and twenty-nine cents. It's in its original shrink wrapping. My brother's friend used to be a DJ. They used to always trade albums, and both of them used to keep two of everything because in the DJ back in the day, you had to use the uh, turntable and you always needed two albums to have to mix at least that's what they did back then um my mother came across this um when she and my father moved and she had given me this as um kind of on my birthday too she's one of the best <laughs> unique birthday gifts because she knows uh that i'm into collectibles but this is framed but even though it's framed it's never been open so that's an actual thriller uh album that's in its original sleeve and that's in its an original like album uh inventory marking and skew so i just thought that was damn cool um coming down here rihanna big rihanna fan this is the anti album so i pan over uh, power and his girl that i think was her name denise back in the day we used to go crazy over her that's the front that's the back very creative album cover Hiroshima, Ohio players before my time, but nevertheless, these are some of the things that were gifted to me that I inherited. I appreciate them all, nevertheless. Um, Michelle Obama's Brand New Life. This is when Michelle originally, I mean, first became first lady. So, this is, as you can see, the first interview. And I'm not on the political thing at all, but nevertheless, uh, I just thought it was kind of cool, and of course they have our first, you know, African American president and first lady. I just thought it was so cool. So these are these are two different comic books of them um, featured. Like I said, I hate politics. I really don't do politics, but nevertheless, I had to make an exception to that rule. Uh, one of my favorite movies that kind of really thought was a passionate story and spoke volumes was the Reuben, Car Reuben Carter story. Uh, Known as the Hurricane, back in his day, uh, you can. If you haven't seen the movie, I highly suggest you watch it. Uh, the Hurricane, Denzel Washington played him, did a phenomenal job. That's the certificate of authenticity that I have. There he is signing. Um, mind you, I didn't, I wasn't here taking this, but the actual person who acquired this, this is, uh, you know, the general rule of thumb of what you do to validate that and uh, I just had to have a piece of his memorabilia he passed away I think due to pancreatic cancer um, back in the day uh, back in 2014 okay moving down Meteor Man Robert Townsend was pretty big this is the number one issue um, don't know if that's worth anything but he was kind of trying to change the dynamic and you know of what the times were so that's kind of like him creating his own comic book that movie <laughs> even though it's comedic in its own right, and I appreciate what he did. Um, it's star-studded and, and and funny, even though I think it flopped in the, in the movie theaters. Uh, Michael Jackson here, kind of the influence, even though it's not sad, but, you know, this is back when the original um, Peter Parker was wearing the Venom costume before it kind of became Venom, and then, as you can see, Ace. As you can clearly see, that's Michael Jackson, but that's a play on what they've done there. Um, moving on, excuse the glare, let's see if I can 
to tone this down. We have actual poster, um, Ruben Hurricane poster. I uh, got this on sale online, and forgive me because I'm not getting the best image of it. But it's just a snapshot of all that he went through, his story, and his actual sign by Ruben Hurricane Cotter himself. And John Artis was the other man who was incarcerated along with him, wrongfully, mind you. Um, so, this poster meant a lot to me. I have along with some of his memorabilia. And, um, I, I, I mean, for the what it speaks in volumes of, of what they went through, um, I think I came off pretty good with paying pennies for um, just having something like that that means a lot. Um, Jaws were pretty big growing up. Miami Vice, Prince, NWA, all these are reflective on late 80s, early 90s, and um, iconic and changed the way of how we would look at movies, TVs, and, and stuff today. Um, the Godfather was real big. Got this from a company or shop in Florida. Um, I think I paid 200 bucks or so for it. I, don't, I can't remember. It was on clearance. But um, this, this whole wall here is a pan give you an idea of like what's on the wall uh, again, I'm a big wrestling fan that's the world heavyweight championship belt up there um, this was given to me from a friend <clears throat> who passed away there were some complications with cancer because uh, they know that I like uh, medieval everything or whatever um, this wall to me is just reflective of just as time progresses, except for excluding the uh, <laughs> the wrestling belt there, but uh, it, it's it's reflective of, of today's uh, or the makeup of Americana. Um, you'll see some Playboy Hugh Hefner. I was a big fan of his. You, you have money there, but all of this stuff it has a deeper meaning. But overall, it does say you know. Um, these are things that, that made America what they are today, you know, good and bad, you know, from from currency to power, um, which, you know, it only gives back what you put in it. So I hold none of these material things is to, to hold to hold me. You know, we we ourselves are masters of our own fate, whether you have it or not. But nevertheless, these things have changed and shaped the history, the job, you know, history within itself, you know, whether it be weapons or. Uh, sex, um, money, you name it, it it's, it's all had an influence on America in general. So, starting with The Godfather, that's kind of what this is about, you know, um, the mafia and, it, you know, you know they've, the poll they've had over many a thing. Um, coming down here is interesting. Um, these were one of my favorite movies, of course, was um, Scarface, Al Pacino, doing one of his iconic roles. Um, this one says you need people like me, um, Hiroshima, Funkadelic, before my time, but I inherited that. I uh, got these offline. Uh, you can get to see how big these bills were. You know, please forget the lighting again, but um, it's an actual $1 bill from back in the day. My camera work is shoddy. I know a lot of people will give me low marks on that, but I'm just trying to document this just to share my collection again. A uh, $20 bill, gold certificate. Um, I just thought these were unique items to have. I used to love Vanity. She passed away before Prince. Um, let's come around here. I'm almost done up, um, this tour here. These are just different places I've been. I thought it'd be interesting to frame the money and just um, see the different variances. Not only the currency, but just it's fun to just see how different things of, um, or different currency rates and stuff are, are depicted on, on paper. Uh, so I went to London a couple of times. Um, these are the pences and the coins there. Um, been to Jamaica a couple of times. Uh, Canada. And then uh, Germany. So there is a quick snapshot of what I did with those and how I framed them just to kind of preserve the integrity of the bill. 
uh, Malcolm X comic book, which I thought was, uh, reading Malcolm X's book was quite um, amazing. And I suggest you read it if you haven't. Uh, uh, Spike Lee did a fantastic job on the film. Contrasting to Scarface. Uh, let's see what this one says. Uh, who put this thing together? Me, that's who. Who do I trust? Me. Iconic movie within its own right. Um, Henry Hill. Um, this is an uh, actual prop gun that I got offline. And uh, this is a uh, prop gun from his wife. This is the certificate of authenticity that explains that she's his fiance. There's a certificate. Um, I just put this through, I put this whole frame piece together. As far as back in this corner, all I want to do is bring a gangster, a gangster films by Martin Scorsese. Iconic within himself, that's Henry Hill going to jail, which he turned, he usually stayed in and out of. Um, Roy Lillard playing him. Um, here's the banner poster. Uh, Playboy. Um, these were iconic within their own right because to see Cindy Crawford on Playboy, this stuff was amazing. One of those things you never thought would happen. It was crazy about her growing up. And also crazy about uh, Naomi Campbell growing up. Um, so there you have it. My collection. That's an old thick album I haven't hung up yet from my grandmother's basement. Um, I never knew even vinyl was that thick. But uh, if you'd like to see more, let me know. Just thought I would share my collection. Sorry for the the piss poor shit lighting and, and reflections, but um, here again, just try to, I'll do a quick pan and try to show everything that's in, in, in its entirety really quickly. I am forgetting um, a small segment of this room that I will try to cover. My battery life is pretty low. I don't know if I'll make it, but I'm going to try to squeeze it in here. Just giving you a quick pan of the room and the memorabilia. Going all the way down. So these are a few things that I love and bring me enjoyment over the years to collect. Uh, this Ferrari panel. Art piece. Got the Punisher up there with Jigsaw. I left that out. Image Comics. Uh, I think Angela or Angelique is her name. She was a big, I think, uh, kick ass person in Spawn. Gave him a lot of hell. Uh, there's my replica Ferrari. Um, that's a self made, self produced comic book that I got at a, at a comic convention one year. Okay, save the best for last, I guess. <clears throat> uh, this piece here is, I think, the notorious, and for all of you all that are familiar with that movie, right there, uh, Goodfellas. This, <laughs> this piece right here is pretty funny because... Um, Henry Hill uh, is an interesting character, to say the least. Um, you know, mafioso stuff, gangster stuff. Um, he's a colorful character. And um, Martin Scorsese's movie, The Goodfellas, actually put, you know, a little bit of what he experienced in, into perspective. But outside of that, you know, um, I've read the book. I have an actual book by his children who wrote what it was like growing up in a, in a household with Henry Hill. Um, very dysfunctional, not healthy, pretty toxic. The guy was uh, rambunctious, tenacious. I mean, oh, a lot of negative adjectives that you could think of associated with a person of his, of his type and, and what he grew up in and what he experienced. But um, not... not N not the best dad of the year, to say the least. Um, so, to focus on this piece here, um, you know, I think Henry Hill, of course, I think it's a little obvious to say that outside of the gangster lifestyle that he led, there were a lot of other things um, that were just not that exemplified in his life that were great. And his kids had mentioned, you know, kids and wife, you know, he went through several divorces, married several women, 
and um, just to get to the point um, this picture here and even this is what I focused on earlier the gun piece Henry Hill was doing any and kind of everything that he could to kind of um, you know sustain a living and make money because all the royalties or whatever he made off of selling books and so forth he, he burned right through it with drug use and, and just misappropriation of funds and in and, and his drug addiction I mean not not a good financial person by any means so he was trying to capitalize on that and doing whatever he could to just kind of make ends meet so what he what he did um, one of the things he did he did many things to try to have some type of income uh, to you know capitalize off his name this is what came with what I purchased off of line um, I was a good fellas fan so I just thought this was comical um, that's Henry Hill right there this piece here is just like um, you know certificate of authenticity uh, by Henry Hill and uh, these are his signatures this came along with this portrait piece here. So this says, this was at the Baltimore Hustlers Club, and this was back in 2009. He was live in person, and I guess he was doing, you know, public appearances and whatever he could just to make some money. I thought this was quite hilarious because in the movie he put emphasis on the Latanza heist. Back then, as the movie said, this was like one of the biggest heists that it ever happened and was successfully pulled off without even anyone being hurt or a gun being drawn only because they knew some inside people and inside people uh, had the um, a hand in, in profiting off of this so there's Henry Hill I'm assuming and whomever else um, and this is so fucking whimsical and just hilarious you know it has a elementary style um, <laughs> type of appeal to it and I think I got this online. And these things, you can find them online anywhere from like, I mean, at the time, I might have got this for $60 or so. But I've seen him go for, you know, and Henry Hill was still alive at the time when I think when I purchased this. He was on his way out because I think he died a year or two after I purchased this. No idea what it's worth. And I really didn't buy it for the word. I just brought it for, you know, out, out of the sheer kind of, um, <laughs> out of, it just being hilarious. I just thought this was just comical. It looks like a, a third grader did it. And this is, you know, and what better way to reflect who and how Henry Hill was? You know, he, he was a guy who certainly didn't live by the rules and was like, fuck it, I'm just going to paint and, and make money that way. Why not? And, you know, I'm, sh I'm not even certain how many of these things sold, but um, this is the last piece that I'm, I'm showcasing that's, that's here on the wall, that hangs on the wall with some of the other many pieces that I have um, but <laughs> just had to show that and when I got it I just I thought it was so comical he had another one that I actually um, did bid on I didn't get it because uh, somebody outbid me but the other one uh, was also another scene in the movie where I think they there was a particular guy that they did owed them some money he and the, and the, par the person who played uh, De Niro's character took them took them to a zoo Apparently that was a true story, and they, you know, they touched this guy up and down, hung him over a lion's uh, bin, and threatened to, uh, you know, just kill him. And so he had another piece that was painted like this, but it, it had that that zoo scene of some kind, and, and they're getting look like a third grader did it. But um, to me, this is just, you know, priceless in its own right because, I mean, hey, anybody can kind of be an artist, I'm sure, in his mind. And, you know, he got my money, and I'm sure he's received other people's money, just there again capitalizing not only off of his name, but with the movie and, and anybody who is, a, I guess, a person of, of has interest in, in the, the that gangster lifestyle of, of where it's just one of those things it's hard to kind of, you know, overlook it and find interest in it of some kind. But uh, I'm going to leave it on, on that note. And uh, there again, that's the last piece that I have here. There again, that's adjacent to... This over here, which is the, um, you know, the, this is the handgun piece, or the prop gun, that was, um, it wasn't actually used in the movie, but there was one similar to this used in the movie. And uh, there again, that's his, his wife's claim and the author, um, certificate of authenticity to uh, say that and there's Henry Hill signing it. But uh, nevertheless, uh, that concludes this uh, collection room or museum. As I affectionately call it, and I appreciate and thank you for watching. Does it? There again, I'll get a close up of my.
wrestling belt that I so much love. And I'm not even sure which division that one came out of, but I got it offline and uh, really love that thing. And I thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this. And my apologies a thousand times for the uh, reflections and the overcast and the poor lighting. Thank you much.